Um, we've got a bunch of uh, product today and a big old stack of PSA cards to reveal. Uh, so we'll talk about those first, get the product out of the way, and then we'll open uh, a bunch of different whoa, a bunch of different stuff. We got Bowman Chrome HTA. We got Steve Aoki tops. We got Champions Path from Pokemon. We got some random Leaf stuff from Target. <laughs> leaf All right. things. Let's go right into it. We're going to start with the PSA reveal. So this order. Now, are the ones are your cards and my cards from the same order? Or are these from two separate orders? This one is from your order. There's three that are not from your order. Oh, you can tell us when we yeah. get there. So the start with a couple of Pete Alonzo's. There's two yep. golds here. This is from 2019 Tops uh, Series 2. These are the gold parallels numbered out of 2020. Xavier, welcome to the chat. Welcome back, yes. my friend. So, um, really nice card here. A couple of tens. Now, I assume you bought these raw. You didn't crack I these. I did. No, nope, those were case. raw buys. Okay. And we did the, this was the, um, supposed to be the 45 day order. Um, yes. Okay. I and think now, so. This 45 day order took, uh, what was that? About, the $20? Yeah. The regular? Yeah. Yeah. It took about, it was economy. This is economy. Oh, economy. That's yeah. right. That's right. So this took, um, a solid six months when it's only <laughs> supposed to take. About a month and a half, two months. So PSA is way behind. Um, really nice cards here. Um, these will, if Pete ever, uh, you know, if he continues his home run. He had a down year in uh, 2020. So I'm hoping he returns to his 50 plus home run form. Yes. Make these worth a bit more. I agree. So now we have, these are also Ryan's 2005 Bowman draft picks and prospects. Uh, Bowman Chrome draft picks and prospects. So third year LeBrons here. What was the strategy here? Just going for some uh, some early year LeBrons, not all the way to rookie because those are very expensive. Um, but if these were to ten, they would have fetched over a grand. So kind of went for a shot there. Okay. Uh, nine should still make some money on those, but I just went for the ten on those. Do you know what these are going for raw, or at least when you bought them? I don't. I don't okay. remember. That's all right. So yeah, the couple really nice photo there, LeBron. Heading for the rim, dunking it. This is a a set that um, they don't make anymore, obviously, because yep. Tops doesn't have their license anymore. Bowman is a Tops uh, Tops brand, um, but I think you know, in terms of mid two thousands after Tops, I would say at Tops and Tops Chrome. This is pretty high end, pretty pretty desirable. I would say there was, yep. of course, there was Fleer and Upper Deck, but um, anything Chrome I like. Yes, exactly. So nice couple of cards there. A couple of cards I've never actually seen before. So very cool. This is also one of Ryan's. Um, this is the Luca rookie optic in a nine. This is the base optic. Luca obviously fetching a pretty penny in the hobby right now. I'm sure you were looking for a ten on this as well. Sure was, but even with the nine, gonna make some money with the way NBA's been lately. So. That's that's right. So that's a nice one. These Chrome cards usually grade really well. <laughs> so unfortunate to get a uh, a nine, but that's okay. Like you said, still gonna be profitable. So we have our first uh, full circle card yes. on the uh, the case cast. We pulled this Quinn Hughes Young Guns from our uh, 2019 Upper Deck Series 1 box break that we did. That's Quinn Hughes, brother of Jack Hughes. Yes. Brother of Jack, yes. So this was also a Mint 9. Very nice there. Yeah. With the Gretzky uh, rookies selling, uh, always a good time to have some graded hockey line and around. Th this one you have now, along with the Quinn and the Luca, were a separate order from yours. Okay, so this was a uh, probably a, an Express. Yeah. Okay, so express. Chris Paul here from 2005 Tops. Um, he this was when New Orleans was the Hornets before they were the Pelicans. Um, so the Paul rookie in the draft day suit. Got to love those mid-2000s draft day suits. Another card I've actually never seen yeah. before. Found this one in a shoebox at my parents' house. Wow. So, I mean, nine condition in a shoebox, I'll take that all day long. Absolutely. And a guy who's probably a little underappreciated. You yep. don't hear a lot about probably Paul Probably a Hall rookies. of Famer, right? Yeah, potentially. Potentially. Got a good shot, I'd say. I agree. And I think the Suns are... I'm um, gonna be really tough in the West this year, and mm -hmm. he's you know he's got a great team around him, a couple of nice young guys, and Aiton and Bridges, and uh, I think I think they're gonna be good. So good for Paul. See where that one goes. All right, so now we go to my cards. Um, these were all the twenty dollar regular uh, economy service order, and they took six months, as I said. But <laughs> happy to have them back. Start off with two of these actually: Topps Chrome Manny Machado refractors from 2013. Um, pretty low pop count on these. Really happy to get both of these back in a 10. Um, I've had a bunch of offers on the one that I currently have on eBay for like 200 bucks, so I should be right around there with these as well. Um, picked him up raw, both of these, and a few more. 
um, before the season restarted, um, kind of right at the beginning of COVID, I was buying these raw for really cheap, um, 15, 20 bucks. And I'm turning him into over two hundred dollar card. So you gotta like the Padres' recent moves too. Gotta help Machado stock there. Absolutely. Real quick before you get into this card, uh, yeah. JC has sent us a snap. He would like a shout out. Oh, look at this! Watching on his big screen. There's your shout out, JC. Thank you, JC, for watching the Cards Fund at home on the big screen. Really happy to have you in here. <laughs> Love to see that. Welcome, welcome, and thank you. All right. Similar thinking here. Um, I went with another Topps Chrome Refractor. This is 2016, not 2013. Um, my thinking for buying Machado was that all the eyes were going to be on the Padres with Tatis, mm -hmm. but Machado should be hitting third. Uh, Tatis leads off, I think, or yep. maybe sometimes hits second. Machado hits towards the top of the order. Machado, MVP candidate last year. Absolutely. So that was that turned out into a great buy. Yep. Trey Turner, I had similar thoughts. I'm going to be hitting right ahead of Juan Soto. Mm -hmm. I thought there's going to be tons of eyes on Juan Soto. Another really low pop card. Doesn't get a ton of hobby love, but incredible player. Super speed. Bag man. Absolutely. He's the, you know, modern day Ricky. <laughs> and uh, he hits he hits ex extremely well. He can hit the long ball. He can do it all. So I really like these uh, Topps Chrome Refractors. I think they're underappreciated. And um, yeah, these were super cheap raw. I mean, these were like under 10 bucks. So a couple of good buys. Let's see what else we got. We got a bunch of Landry Shamit coming up here. So these are all silver prisms. Looks like I got two nines. And Shamit's been tossed around the league a little bit, hasn't he? It's true. I, I don't I even think know he's where on he's his at. third team. Is he, he on uh, Brooklyn now? Yeah, his third team, I think. So he was a 76er. A Clipper. Okay, a Clipper. And was and then was he somewhere else before Brooklyn? Has he maybe been on four? Or is that his third team, Brooklyn? Uh, fact check me, but I think it's his third team. Okay. And he's, I mean, this is only his third year in the league. So yeah. he's, he is jumping around. My original plan. Journeyman. It's true. Original plan with these was send them in in June when we sent these mm -hmm. in and have them back in time for the finals in October <laughs> when the because I expected that. I thought maybe there's a chance the Clippers made right. a deep playoff run right um th they just got back now obviously so that did not work out but these I'm still gonna make money on these I mean these were again these were like 10 bucks when I bought them I think I bought all these Shamit prisms like right when they maybe a couple months after they came out in 2018 some of the first cards I bought um so super super cheap and then i did get a 10 no idea what the market is on these right now but if he ever pops um i'm locked and loaded with landry shamit got a bunch of those all right then i went for a bunch of 90s basketball here love um, some 90s hoops so these are all 98 tops xavier says shameful <laughs> <laughs> what, what did i do what was Decent, shameful 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 <laughs> shameful shamit xavier says <laughs> oh and then he called him shumpert very nice iman shumpert remember him? i do great the hair on that guy yes all right so we have 98 tops here i think i only have one dirk no i have two dirks 98 tops what an unbelievable draft class this was in 98 you got the dirk rookie you got the paul pierce rookie mm -hmm. and you got the vince carter rookie um so really good draft class also peyton manning obviously different sport but same same year i think randy moss was Could also be. 98 so a lot of good names from some old school tops here got two of these number 154 psa 9 um just don't see a ton of dirk out there and i think this is a hall of famer for sure for sure bringing titles to d-town he's got a big uh overseas audience from germany so Picked up a couple of these. Picked, uh, all these 98 tops you're about to see all came from the same lot, and they graded decently, so happy with a couple of nines there. Big fan of the pickups. I will say, though, these cards, they're pretty ugly. They're ugly. The <laughs> with bronze. The, with the brown board. I yeah. agree. The bronze board. The the chrome looks nice because it's silver. Right. Um, but the I agree. The, this bronze gold or whatever you call this, not great. Now I have a bunch of Vince. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's pull out the worst ones first. So here's an 8.5. I guess I did pretty well on those. Just one eight five. You um, never see like a seven five or a nine five. It's only eight five. No, well, I don't what's even, up with that? They don't even do nine fives. PSA. Do I don't they think do I've, anything other five or is it just eight five? I. You know that's a great question. I've I don't know that I've seen ever, another point five. I think you might be right. I don't know that I've ever seen. I've never gotten one personally. So this is my first point five anything from PSA with hundreds of cards. Maybe if not over a thousand cards submitted at this point. My first 8.5. But, hey, from a, for a 90s base card, we'll take it. You know, Vince Carter just retired this year. 
uh, or la- end of last season. So I think another guy who's destined probably for the Hall of Fame. Very notable for his dunks. So we got four PSA 9s and an 8.5. Happy with that. So all those came from the same lot, as I said, from 98 tops. Pretty good lot. Yes, I agree. Here's an 8. Uh, this is from 93 Finest. That's the Michael Jordan. Picked this up during the craze from the uh, the Last Dance when that was coming out in uh, the spring. Went a little crazy on the Michael stuff. These finest cards are so good looking. I love that um, card. Yeah, back and front looks really, really cool. The the refractor of these, this just shining like crazy. Yep. It already looks like a refractor. But, um, again, no idea what the market does for this. I assume in an 8, I'll be able to get the same price I bought it for raw. Or you could even just hold that it. forever. It's true. I have no reason to sell this. I mean, this these were cheap. 30 bucks. I think I bought this for. Jordan's not going down. No. You just hold that for your life. That's true. That's a good, uh, just a good collector's card. I yep. think it, it's probably my favorite looking Michael Jordan card of all the MJ cards. All right. We move on now. More modern stuff. 2019 Optic. That's Darius Garland, and that is the base 10. Garland has been popping off early on this season. You guys can see all it takes is one um all it takes is one big game from these guys in this current market Mm -hmm. and prices soar um i i was selling his prism silvers for uh, in a psa 10 for like 190 and this week now they're about 500 bucks in crazy the matter of one good start so i'm happy the, the timing of this is great i'll probably probably try to sell this right away um i you and me were both big on garland from we were. from the get-go yep. as soon as we saw him get drafted um more Shamit. um again didn't work out with the timing but we did get a 10 on the optic hollow i think optic hollow is your equivalent to silver prism kind of the same concept it's the it's a you know just a has the rainbow refractor finish and um there's less in the pop count of the hollows than there are the prisms, so I think they're undervalued. Again, super cheap, probably five bucks back in 2018. So another good buy there if he ever pops off. Now we go to 2019 with a couple of silver prisms from the last draft class. We got a 9 on the P.J. Washington silver and a 10 on the Carson Edwards silver from Boston. think he's hurt right now. Edwards? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So, I don't know. I think he has upside. I try to grade any any prism silvers that I come across that I think are in good condition from rookies. I'll, I'll grade them, you know. Mm-hmm. I think it's worth it. Um, you never know when they're going to have a Horton Tucker type game. Right, gonna... exactly. And that's all it takes is one big moment. One big preseason game. He's all fly. So, a nine there on the Tucker. I mean, he's not Tucker. Uh, P.J. Washington, not P.J. Tucker. Um, I don't know how I feel about him. Overall, I have some more of him in this order, but at the time he was selling pretty well, so I figured I'd have some slab stuff of his ready to grade. Now I have a bunch of other uh, prism parallels here from the same class, so let's see what else we got. Here's Chuma. Shout out Rich Hershey, classmate at Auburn University. <laughs> That's the red, white, and blue. That's a nine. Um, Chuma, kind of a 3 and D type guy, but he was hurt last season. Kind of a Michael Porter Jr. situation mm-hmm. where he comes in really highly regarded and doesn't get a lot of playing time in his rookie year. Yep. So I Sneaky. think a lot, of, a lot of upside here. I mean, his uh, silver prism in a 10, I think I got a couple of those. I mean, those were like over $400 before the season. So and just people speculating like crazy in this market. Another high draft pick from last year. This is the Orange Ice. Um, got a 9 there. Jarrett Culver. Haven't seen a ton of him yet, um, but Josh Okogie just got hurt, and so did, um, oh man, I know Cat was out the other night, but there was another Timberwolf that I think got hurt, so I think Culver's going to have have himself some playing time, and the gold ices, or orange ices, are somewhat rare. They come from, I think, hanger boxes, which, at least in our area, in our targets and everything, were pretty rare, so mm-hmm. could be wrong about that, but... The parallel, you don't see it a lot in uh, in the retail form, so I like that. Eric Pascal now. We got a 10. Of course, if I had to get a 10, I would have picked all of them except this one. <laughs> this is the Purple Wave. Um, these are, I think these come from the feeder boxes. They're like four-card packs. Um, that's where you get the Purple Waves. Not totally sure how I feel about Pascal either, but I kind of thought the Warriors would make a run. Um, I, of course, thought Clay was going to be healthy, and now he's not. Pascal debuted as a starter, I think, in the first game this year and looked terrible. The Warriors don't look great, <laughs> so not sure what I'll get for that, but 
you know, rookie color. Wiseman, though. Yeah, true. That's true. He looks he, good. He could be good. Here's some Rui Red ice. I think it looks really good with the uniform there. Um, don't think he's been playing. Is he hurt? hurt. I think yeah. He's hurt. So, so but, you know, when he gets in there, I think he'll make a move. So a lot of nines uh, on the modern prism stuff here. I guess um, it's just tough yeah. on, on these it'll sets. Have, it'll have uh, Russ giving the ball to him. Oh, Russ that's right. Brooks, that's so right. Because Wall's He's got a little Wall's bit gone. of a team around him. I like that. Westbrook and Beal. So the strategy here was just to get his, all my rookies that I had that I thought were in decent condition graded just to have some inventory and mm-hmm. some slabs. Um, here's the Cam Reddish base. That's a nine. Not too much to say about that one. High draft pick out of Duke, uh, playing alongside Trey and a bunch of other young guys. So obviously upside there. More nines here. Um, Culver, one nine and a ten. That's the base Culver. Already talked about him. And then we got uh, a couple of RJ, obviously another high pick, really highly touted guy out of the draft, one nine and one ten. So that's a pretty big one. Those are doing really well right now. See uh, if the Knicks can do anything ever. How about Julius Randle? Oh man, he's balling he's, out. He is triple double the other night. Yeah, absolutely balling out. Speaking of our boy Garland, there's the base Garland. That's in a ten. Happy with the way all of my Garland has graded so far. I think I've gotten probably. 12 garlands graded and i think i got like nine or ten tens so really Pretty happy good. with that here's the biggest mystery of the entire <laughs> submission <laughs> i don't get this one we got the 2019 tyler hero rookie panini prism base in a six <laughs> a psa six in a modern card now you're not going to be able to see this i don't think with the glare oh maybe you can yeah there's some uh, there you go see the scratching there is a surface scratch there in the corner you see what i'm saying I don't see it. You don't see it right there. Oh, I do see it. Yep. So those are scratches the, on the surface. But a six? I, I guess those have to be really deep. And how did we both miss those? Right. So I don't know why we, I submitted that and didn't see that. I'm wondering if that got damaged upon submission. I don't know. But a six nonetheless. So, you know, nothing, no value really in that. But someone will buy, I'll crack it, sell it raw. I don't know. I'll, I'll make sure I note the damage in the description. But then, that doesn't warrant a six. I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know enough about surface grading on these chromium cards. But we did get two tens on the Tyler. So they made up for the six with two nice tens. These were going crazy during the finals run last year. Um, I, last I checked, Tyler was playing a pretty good game tonight. Um, and he, I know he had a good game last night, even though Bucks blew him out. Um, but, yeah, definitely happy to get a couple of tens on Tyler. Here's some Chuma base. Got two base tens of his. Already talked about him. Chuma. <laughs> There's a nine Chuma. Xavier was asking about this guy before, Kobe White. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bulls, we'll have to see what they do. But there's there's players on all these teams that, you know, if they can all come together and work together, these teams could be good. We're talking about the Knicks. We're talking about the, uh, the Cavs with all their young guys. We're talking about even the Hornets with LaMelo. We were talking about the Suns earlier. Um, and now uh, Kobe, you know, was playing 30 plus minutes a night at the in the before the bubble at the end of the season, you know, before Corona shut it all down. And he was putting up great numbers. So that's a good one to have as well. He's still their guy on the Bulls for now. Yeah. Well, Zach Levine, I would say, is probably their best scorer, but right. Kobe's a good distributor yep. for sure. Now we swept the PJ Washington. We got 10, 10, <clears throat> and 10. We didn't get a 10 on the silver, but three tens on the bases again don't know how i feel about pj but again always good to have some rookie slabs in the inventory 10 brandon clark playing alongside john morant of course i'm also a big jaron jackson jr fan so a lot of good young guys on memphis brandon clark a big man picked up some of him and last but not least wish i had all my seku uh graded last year because he popped he had like a a Talon Horton Tucker type of deal last year he he was 19 years old and he just was flying in the hobby um but we got a nine there on the base so there's that order pretty good submission for you yeah I'm I'm happy with it um I would have hoped for more tens as always I thought I did a pretty good job of scanning the cards I guess we both missed the, the Tyler Hero but one card below an eight Right, and I, I expected the 90s cards to be 8s mm-hmm. because at that point I just wanted them slabbed. I right. didn't think they were a gem, but sure. um, 
I wonder, do you think it's the centering on these prism cards that is keeping a lot of the nines from being tens? I, I like know. it's hard because the surfaces all looked really clean. The corners and edges are always perfectly sharp. I'm I'm thinking I'm just a bad judge of centering on most of these. The centering, I don't know. I mean, this Barrett one looks like dead center. Yeah, it's really tough. Take to a look tell. at that. It looks dead center. Yeah, it's it's just really tough. I don't to know. Tell. I don't know. Who knows? Could be an edge situation. Right. Well, who knows what they see under that microscope? <laughs> that's right. So I'm not unhappy with it. I'm happy to just to get cards back. I know. Is really what a, a what minute. I've been waiting for. Um. So good stuff there, and I hope we'll have more reveal videos coming soon. We still have plenty of orders out there. Mm -hmm. A couple hundred cards, maybe even a thousand. Mm -hmm. We have, there's a ton out there. Right. So we'll bring more of that to come.